everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the north atlantic with focus being on the caribbean so there is some severe weather moving through parts of the united states this morning and uh we see a couple of other older systems out there that blob northeast of bermuda and those other systems moving off to the east Across the main development region and the Caribbean, much is not really happening, but there is some thunderstorm activity across uh, parts of northern South America. And as I've been talking about, that rainfall increase is happening. So in parts of Trinidad, especially the north and the eastern part of Trinidad, there's been some rainfall activity and there's likely to be more rain as we head throughout today and even into tomorrow as well. So taking a closer look here, we can see all that is going on across parts of northern South America, Colombia very active, parts of Venezuela as well. The Guyanas, not so much. It's a pretty uh, dry and quiet morning with nothing really happening in the area. And then for uh, much of the Caribbean region, a few clusters of clouds moving by, especially for the Lesser Antilles. Elsewhere, it is a sunny morning. Same thing for the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos for the most part and towards Central America. As we go on to the rainfall forecast for today from Euro, here we can see for most of the Caribbean, not very colorful, a few green and uh, gray shadings around. And uh, that's mostly for parts of the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, some spots in Hispaniola, Jamaica. So there may be a few showers loitering around, not widespread, uh, nothing that's going to be prolonged, but there may be a few showers within the area elsewhere, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, much of the Florida Peninsula, and most of Central America likely to be on the dry side. Same thing for the offshore islands, the Keys, Bay Islands off Honduras, San Andreas, Providencia, and even towards the ABC Islands as well. A few showers may loiter around, but that's it. Northern South America complete contrast, as we can see here, very colorful. As we saw, there is a lot of rain and a thunderstorm activity going on right now in parts of Colombia and Venezuela as well. So there's likely to be more later today. And the Guyanas, uh, for some areas, it will be quiet, but there may be a few showers here and there, especially later uh, this afternoon. And then, as I said, Trinidad, Tobago, likely to experience more rainfall activity as the day goes on in some areas but it's mostly the north and the east of trinidad that have been experiencing some downpours so not much for the southwest but hopefully that's going to change because i know that many areas have been so dry and in need of a substantial downpour look into the wind forecast it's going to be a windy day across most of the caribbean but the windiest areas are likely to be for the northwestern caribbean and the central caribbean we can see those blue shadings popping up so some of those wind gusts through today could be over 40 maybe even going up to 50 miles per hour in some of these areas offshore colombia and offshore northern central america and the northwest caribbean as we're seeing those winds coming in from the south east going on to this map here so the saharan earlier we haven't had much of the dust in the Caribbean to deal with as of recently. However, as we're going to be heading into later this week, a plume of dust is expected to enter the Caribbean region. So let's take a look at it. This is the forecast for Thursday night. We can see all of this dust indicated by these shades of browns and the darker the brown is, the more, uh, the higher the concentration of dust, there's a lot more dust within that particular area. So we can see that dust stretching all the way from Africa across parts of the Atlantic and towards our northeastern South America and sections of the Southeast Caribbean. So uh, there's going to be some dust moving in and that's not very ideal because uh, in large quantities, the dust can trigger allergies, respiratory conditions and uh, result in skin and eye irritation as well. So it's not a very ideal thing, especially when it is very dry. But unfortunately, we have to deal with these plumes from time to time. This is not going to be a very dense plume, but it is likely to be very much noticeable when it is going to be moving in later this week. So I'll keep you guys posted on that again. There's that rainfall increase happening for Trinidad. Nearby areas may also experience some uh, substantial rain at times. And if there is a heavy downpour that lasts long enough, it may actually result in some flash flooding but hopefully that's not going to be the case hopefully it's just going to be well needed rain in the area and there will be no instances of flooding hopefully not but just in case you go out and there's a heavy downpour you encounter flood waters turn around don't drown 
so guys that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video i really do hope you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be weatherwise